Greetings, internetizens. This is Elmel Thin. Uh, I've had some minor technical difficulties, but as it turns out, there is a computer in the house that can handle the 3DS emulation. I had to get a different program, though. Level 5! This whole game is on level 5! This is a slightly better volume. New game. Hmm, haven't done that for quite some time. At least they're not making me... Uh, write it by hand. Well, I am using my hand, but at least uh, they're not doing this touchscreen thing. 3D, yes, but it can't really be 3D. Uh, they could technically do it if they used four entire screens, but I'd have to cross my eyes. Ooh! These are card club symbols! Oh! What is this? Wow. Alice in Wonderland? So this is Montador! Indeed, the Golden in Mountain. Years, this little desert oasis has grown into quite a tourist attraction. Amazing, don't you think? But yes, it is. Is Some it people even call part it Italian and part French? Miracles. The city of miracles. The city of miracles. Mm. Yeah, there seems to be a card theme. Golden Mountain is impressive, and its entire existence is a mystery. How does a city develop so fast? Well, maybe someone. Powerful settled down there, built a castle, made it the de facto capital of the region. <laughs> ah. It's a weird elephant. The Dark Parade? The Dark Carnival? Wait, that's from Homestuck. Ooh! There's so much it to is look looking kind of 3D. Yes, the I've animation. heard that Montedor is quite an exciting town. The letter you received said some terrible things happened here. That's hard to believe. Who died? Hmm. How many people died? You'll we'll have a better understanding. What state of the were the corpses in? After we speak to Angela. We should be able to see her estate just past the street. Angela. Ah, so there's an important character. This city is like one big amusement park. It certainly is a lively town. How could anything bad happen in a place so bright and colorful, Professor? Never judge a book by its cover look. Only a thorough analysis will reveal a thorough conclusion. Oh, the sky is looking weird, but that could just be light pollution. Right as usual, Professor. Let the investigation commence. I admire that spirit look, but Montedora is a unique town. Before we begin, we will need to take a moment to examine our methods. Are there new exploration mechanics? I'm all ears, Professor. Very good. Ah. To search an area, just tap the investigation icon in the top corner of the touch screen. Use the magnifying glass! I, I think these mechanics are new. Move the magnifying glass to... Eh, yeah. Slide the stylus emblem in the touch screen. Am I supposed to click and drag? It turns orange. Yeah. Okay, so tap the investigation icon, slide along the touch screen to search. Got it. Let's give it a try. Is there anything here that needs a closer look? Let's touch you with the cup. I don't know. Oh. What? 
I'm, I'm dragging it on the other screen. Oh, the squeak. At least it's not a jumping flower thingy that's squeaking. Oh, this is nothing. This is just some lore stuff. Well, basic dialogue. What about the people? Can I investigate the people? Can I investigate the sky? The fountain, yes. At first I thought that there was a naked woman statue with a hole in her head. Ooh, who's this? Uh, I think it's a person. And it looks like a rocket with balloons. Do you have a puzzle? Mm, hello there. <laughs> Welcome to... That clown certainly has a lot of balloons, Professor. Uh, or do the balloons have him? He does look a bit tied up at the moment. Perhaps we could offer some assistance. Our very first puzzle, not a map this time. We come to the circus, clowns, animals, lots of fun. Can we be of some help, sir? I don't mind me, I just need to release these balloons into the air for the children, you know? For the kids. If I don't get these balloons into the air, I'll never earn my clown nose. Oh, where are my manners? Oh, I'm stumble. Forgive me for not shaking your hand. I don't think me rude. Uh, perhaps you could help me here if you're not in too much of a hurry. Ooh, fancy icons. What is this? The screens, yeah. I feel like my screens are the wrong way around. Or is it the correct way on the 3DS? This clumsy clown has gotten caught up in his balloon strings. Give look and light on the hand in untangling the strings. Alright, the upper screen had some map stuff. No, just some background stuff in the previous games. Touch any of the orange points on the touch screen to swap the strings around. Swap the panels. Nope. Yeah, let's disentangle it here and here. Looking good, almost, almost. Yeah, we'll have to go here. The green points don't swap. It's still crossed. I believe I have this one. Ha! Huh. And he points at the puzzle. screen. Crossover foreshadowing. Ooh, that's a big fish. Yeah. Ew, what a relief. Thank 
thank you for that. No need to thank us, Stumble. Helping someone in need is its own reward. Sounds like you just got into town. Well, I hope you enjoy your time in Montador. Just be sure to always stay on your toes. Is the giant clown real? This is fantastic! Everyone is having such a good time, Professor! They are, and I'm looking forward to doing the same after our investigation. Oh, right, the investigation. That can be fun as well. We'll see it's what an the adventure. Has to offer. What? <gasps> Who's screaming? Someone got attacked that? by a monster, possibly. Oh wait, the mask! The previous Professor. game's bad guy had a mask. Oh. Stone. Oh. Quickly. Uh, is the clown a balloon? Yeah. <laughs> the turning animation. It's a balloon made of meat. Oh. Multiple people got petrified. Oh, wow. What on earth is going on here? Statues? Did they get petrified with terror of that weird clown? Hey, I'm trying to escape here. Get out of the way, will you? Please, sir, try to remain calm. Calm? Are you blind? Those people have been turned to stone. How is that possible? A very good question, Luke. Professor, look up there. What? Is there a giant bundle of snakes? What on earth? One, two, three, four. Did you miss me, Montador? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! Huh? It's a different mask. I hope mask. you enjoyed tonight's dark miracle. Courtesy of the masked gentleman. Consider what you have seen tonight as a warning. Montador will soon be destroyed. Those who submit to the power of the mask may be spared. But then again, they may not. What? <gasps> Professor, <gasps> Luke, <gasps> what are you waiting for? Ah, a written invitation? Look at the horse this time. Of course. Wait, Professor! something wrong with it is it broken <laughs> <laughs> let's go everyone follow me right hey wait for me maybe it's a fake horse what's <laughs> wrong is it's biting its tongue is this a puzzle or just a quest Oh! Slider styles on the touch screen. I'm moving the horse. Avoid the barrels. What is this? A Donkey Kong? Carrots. No, it's Zelda. Follow the mass gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those are some weird controls. Where is the dude? I was avoiding the barrels. Come on, we've almost got him. Birdman, who's not a flower, or 
They're related to any bird princess or flower princess. That's the way. Could you just give me arrows to click? Yeah. That's the way. Did, did I get that carrot? The professor's head is yeah. in my way. <gasps> Now uh, is this the town serial map that I'm pursuing him yeah, along? <laughs> Hang on, Professor. Oh no. Look, there he is. W yeah. When does this chase end? <gasps> this this game yeah. isn't made Here for action go. sequences. Yeah. Street is tight. Are you all right? Oh. Yeah. Where is he going? Yeah. I can't do this. Where is he going? Uh, left. Watch out! Uh, how many lines are there on the streets? Am I getting close? Handkerchief. <laughs> what was this sequence even for? I didn't have Zelda controls. He got away. Yes, he had quite an advantage over us. I suppose we can assume that was the masked gentleman. Was he using some sort of magic, Professor? How did he do all that? Luke, I can honestly say, I don't know. Probably robots and hypnogas again. <laughs> well, not again. So the hypnogas thing hasn't happened yet. New mystery. Who is this dude? Or rather, why did these people get petrified? Magic seemed to be the only thing that could explain what we had seen. It, it always turns out to be technology. A loss. It made me wish he never received that strange letter in the first place. I thought it was the Mask of Miracles. It's the Mask of Chaotic Miracles. someone named Angela Lador. Angela? Yes, of course. Where did you hear that name? It was on the letter. A letter? Let me, Professor! Angela, after all these years... Here 
Another Thank rival you of much, yours? Very strange. What is it, Professor? Professor? The Mask of Chaos. Dearest Herschel. I trust this letter finds you well. I have read wonderful things about your work, Herschel. Or rather, Professor Layton. It's difficult to believe it has been nearly 18 years. I'm sure this letter comes as quite a surprise, but I must ask for your help. We have experienced a series of terrifying incidents here in Monte Dor. I must be cursed by the Mask of Chaos. For it is now threatening to destroy our city. Oh, the mask is evil. I hope you can forgive me after all these years. I don't know who else I can turn to. I cannot give you the full details now. However, if you can spare the time, I shall tell you all upon your arrival. Not sure if we, we can help you need of your protect help, the city. I've enclosed the address for the Lador estate. Last time we I investigated, soon, got destroyed by a monster. Well, it got flooded. But a monster was involved. A mask of chaos? What is that? Donald Rutledge wrote about it in his book, Ancient Histories. According to legend, the mask bestows great power upon whoever wears it. Yes. The allure of omnipotence is as old as mankind itself. You seem to know quite a bit about the mask, Emmy. Well, I have taken a few courses here and there. I see. Did I leave something out, Professor? No, no. You're absolutely correct. So this mask of chaos is well known in the world of archaeology? Oh, yes. Among researchers, it's quite a popular topic. So, what would it mean to be cursed by the Mask of Chaos? So, what would it mean to be cursed by the Mask of Chaos? It's difficult to say. Angela certainly wasn't very forthcoming in her letter. Oh yeah, I I've paused this recording. We're in a voiced segment. What is your relationship with Angela, Professor? Is she one of Professor Layton's lost loves? Well, not as lost as Claire. <laughs> Hardly. I've known Angela since my school days. Our relationship was... complicated. Maybe a rival after all. Well, a true gentleman could never refuse a request to help an old friend. Right, Professor? Why, yes, Luke. I suppose you're correct there. In the letter, she refers to a series of terrifying incidents. What do you think she means by that, Professor? Oh, maybe I'm just not used to, to the dog being on the top screen. I can't say for certain, but I know how we can find out. Maybe some people got turned inside out and then petrified. Yeah. A mysterious artifact that might be cursed. How were these people turned to stone? This must have been what Miss Angela was referring to in her letter. Yes, we need to find out how long this has been going on. Did you discover anything of note, Emmy? Yes, according to the witnesses I spoke to with, spoke with, the masked gentleman first appeared about a month ago. Since then he has created several disturbances throughout town with these dark miracles of his. What reason could he have for doing such awful things to those people? Have you heard anything about the police? <laughs> have they procured any leads? <laughs> the way they introduced the topic, it sounded like yeah, like the police was a completely new thing in this world, <laughs> but it's clearly not. Apparently they have a few, but 
they have a few, but it sounds like they're still clueless about the identity of the masked gentleman. Word is that their investigation is at a standstill. The police have no suspect, no motive and no explanation. Maybe it turns out to be Don Paolo at the end of this trilogy. I see. Very well. I'd like to take a closer look at the scene here before we move on. It looks like he's standing on a button or a level entrance thing on some kind of game map. Oh, there's a person. Uh, uh, no puzzle here. Professor, these people! How could this have happened? Those statues! That could have been us! Let me take a few photos for evidence. It's difficult to say what we may encounter here. Let's be sure to keep our eyes and ears open. Always, Professor! <laughs> it's the evil eyebrows again! I think I see someone who may be able to help us here, Professor. Look over there! Oh! It's the tap guy! Why doesn't this person have any response? Oh, once again, destiny makes us cling like a sweaty shirt to bare skin on a hot carnival night. Welcome to Montedor, my friends. Thank you. Yes, I believe we've met before. You are Aldus, correct? The one and only. Happy to see you looking so robust. Are you on a holiday as well? How oddly sublime that we would meet here. Is this a romantic subplot? I was just watching the parade with a heart full of joy and a mouth full of laughs, when I was nearly turned to stone. But enough of this idle geological chatter, perhaps I will share with you a special something about the Monte d'Or. We would appreciate any information you could share with us. You see, I prepared a wooden box in the area. You should search this area with your styles. What? This looks like... Oh. It's just some rust on it. I don't see any wooden boxes! My young boy, please! Take a breath that is deep and think much of the rocks in candy. Of course you did not find my box. It was on a person or inside a person. Could you clarify your meaning, Aldus? I believe I can. See, before you could only investigate, but now you may zoom. Zoom? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> As you search with the magnifying glass, it, let it flash with a blue light. That, my friend, is a zoom point. Uh, tap the touch screen just as you would any point of interest. It's orange. Where would the wooden box be? <laughs> In the sky! <laughs> On top of a tower! 
Oh, here! It's blue now! Wow! A hidden box! You have filled my heart with much pride, my little friend. See, in this way, you can look for many sorts of hidden things. This is good. Let me make a note of it. Go! It is as the old saying goes, a box found but not searched is a box not found. But what about other stuff? Is there anything else on this slide to investigate? Oh! Now, I have sacrificed an excess of my holiday helping you, so I must bid you... Ah dear! I, I thought he'd say farewell. Or that he'd get stopped mid-sentence by something terrifying. He's a bit of a strange gentleman, isn't he? Perhaps he is, Luke. Perhaps he is. Well, he gave us some good information regardless. Zooming will certainly help our investigation. Just a coin! No information? Professor, let's head over to the tent. Maybe we'll find something there. That may not be a bad idea, look. A full investigation of this town is going to be quite a task. Well, it better get started straight away. Absolutely, look. Let's just quickly establish how to go about exploring the city. Right, I almost forgot about it, Professor. Back to map. There's a map! Can I faster on the map? Oh, these level icons are highlighted orange. No boats? Quite simple, don't you think? Indeed. I think I've got it. Now then, look. Let's head for the tent. Remember, effective footwork is key to any successful investigation. There didn't seem to be anything. Oh, Professor! How should we go about keeping it? Uh, uh, this is the suitcase. Hmm. I'm calling it a trunk now. Wasn't it called a suitcase before? Did I accidentally pick up the British version? Locations of puzzles can be seen. Oh, episodes are here too. Thanks, Professor. I feel like a better apprentice already. Look, we only listened to the Professor's explanation. You still need to master the art of actually using the trunk. Of course, Emmy. Thanks. All right, you two. Let's get on with our investigation. New episode. Oh, wait, the journal. We begin the investigation in the desert. Where is this taking place? Some place. 
It's been colonized by the French and the Italians. No car. There's a carnival. Started as a hotel, but it grew big in 18 years. Maybe they found a coal mine there. There was a scream and some magic. We are looking for the gentleman. And we patrol the neighborhood alone. I should catch up with the professor and look, but I'd like to get a little more information first. There are so many people here. Maybe I should ask around a bit. But who should I start with? Hmm. That boy there looks fairly sharp. We're bored. Either way, maybe he can help me. Pardon me, do you have a moment? I'm sorry, are you talking to me? Something is familiar about him. Yes, can I ask you a few questions? Uh, regardless of what I say, I have a feeling you're going to ask anyway. Have you heard anything about the masked gentleman? Do I look like I live under a rock? He has built quite a reputation. With the paintings, turning people into horses, a lot of spontaneous combustion bit. Did you see any of those events? No. Sorry, I got nothing. There have to be dozens of witnesses around here though. We shouldn't have too much trouble. Yes, you're probably right. Look around for tourists. If they were at the parade, they might have seen something. Or ask a police officer. Anyway, I want to catch the rest of tonight's festivities, so I'd better run. Well, casually saunter at least. Spontaneous combustion? Turning people into horses? Bizarre. That sounds a bit hard to swallow. I'll need more information before passing this on to the professor. Well, don't swallow a horse, even if you're not an old lady. This young lady certainly looks excited. Maybe she saw something. Excuse me? Maybe she saw a really cool movie. Uh, oh, uh, hello, can I help you? Well, I'm trying to gather details about the recent events. Have you witnessed anything strange around here lately? Uh, do you mean the masked gentleman? Oh, he's fantastic! I've never seen anything like him! Did you see the spontaneous combustion incident? Oh no, I was so upset when I, I missed it! I ran all the way across town to see it, but I, I was too late! I heard it was absolutely breathtaking! The event of the year! Sophisticated grace! So, you've seen the masked gentleman? I'm not actually in person, no, but that's the thing about great artists. You don't need to actually see them to feel them. Oh, oh can you hear that? People are frolicking. Maybe the masked gentleman will make an appearance tonight? Of course. Thank for your help. I'd better go find the professor and look. Maybe they have a better idea of what's really going on here. Maybe that's what's wrong with what's, what's wrong with Luke's tiny horse. It used to be a person. And it got somehow through horrific surgical procedures turned into a horse. Check the clown float. But what about other stuff? So the clown was a balloon.
There's an odd noise coming from this place. Like some scuttling noises. Oh, it's karaoke. This parade food is much bigger than it seemed earlier. It doesn't look like it will be floating again anytime soon. It must have deflated at some point during all of the commotion. Do you hear that? Is somebody crying? Is there somebody inside the clown? <laughs> I hear it now too. It's coming from your fault. Wait, it's, it's not the clown that's crying, is it? I certainly hope not, Luke. That would be a cause for some concern. Let's take a closer look at the float. Ooh, more people! Nothing like London. Mostly because it's in the desert. Are you all right, little girl? It was a girl who was crying. Phew, thank goodness. Thank goodness yourself, Shorty. Well, she doesn't appear to be too broken up. What's the matter, dear? I don't... I can't... Use your words, sweetie. We can't understand you if you keep crying. And she'll cry more if you keep scolding her. I think she might be lost, Emmy. Let's help this little one find her way. Leave it to me, Professor. Hey there, kiddo. Are you lost? Where are your parents? Oh, who are you calling kiddo? I want my mommy. Where's mother? Hmm. A red hair and a pink purse with a bear on it. What? Look how stylish everyone is today. Hold on, this isn't my purse. See, I'm actually a man. What is this? Is this a man? Oh, they switched purses! isn't mine. It is the wrong pattern. Bear is wrong. Red hair. She is a man. Ah, the star. This one has the star. This one has the bear. And this is the mom.
It feels like I'm moving the mouse around with telekinesis. Let me have a shot. Thanks, Shorty! There you are, Cookie. You had me worried sick. Thank you, young man. Just doing my duty as a gentleman. <laughs> a gentleman? That's rich. I mean, uh, thanks for helping me, Cancer. Uh, you, you're my hero. <laughs> she called me her hero. I like that. Ooh, I think she likes you, look. Haha, <laughs> I'm inclined to agree, Emmy. Oh, it was nothing. Any hero would have done the same. Indeed. Well now, let's make our way to the Lador estate. It should be just up the road here. Um... There's a policeman over there. Perhaps we should see if he has anything strange. I mean, if he has seen anything strange. Good idea, look. Let's see if he can help. Oh, so it's not exactly fast travel, it seems. We can just move to adjacent tiles. Hmm. It's a museum. It's not the rich person's mansion, that's a museum! Make a coin. Look at these modern buildings! Uh, we have reports of another sighting of the masked gentleman. Uh, do you know anything about this? Actually, we were going to ask you the same thing. We pursued the masked gentleman earlier, but he escaped. Uh, so I'm already too late. Curses! Uh, I'm always too late. Always! Double curses. He do everything in our power, yet he continues to elude our grasp. How does he do it? And I saw that today, uh, I investigated the incident at the museum but came up empty there. Yes, I heard something about some of the paintings coming to life. What is this? Uh, I'm sorry, Professor. In all of the chaos, I forgot to mention what I heard about this very strange incident. Uh, people jumped right out of the paintings that were on display. Uh, sure had us in a pickle. Uh, still does. Mm, pickles. Uh, we removed every last painting just to be safe. No problems with the art there since. So that's why the museum is closed? Well, it doesn't make much sense to keep an empty museum open, does it? A shame. It's located right in the heart of town. I'm a bit surprised that a city as new as Montedoro would ha even have a museum. I can't imagine that transporting valuable pieces of art all the way out here would be an easy task. Uh, you definitely learn to appreciate art when you're out in the middle of nowhere. Yes, I wonder why the masked gentleman would choose to appear somewhere so remote. Why here? And with that mask? Well, we not call it that remote if it's a major city now. Let's continue onwards to the Lador Estate, Professor. 
I believe we take a right here at the crossroads. But can we go anywhere else? Can we investigate these people? <laughs> uh, more busy work! Tell Stumble to put up the posters! Uh, they're so lucky that I don't have anything better to do with my time! Oh, excuse me? Uh, someday I'll have actual stuff to do and then I'll... Uh, uh, don't sneak up on me like that! Uh, please! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you! We'll help you pick up your posters! Oh uh, no, that's fine. They're all strewn about everywhere. Uh, I'll just pick them all up and... Oh my! <laughs> my posters are all mixed up now! Uh, I was putting up some replacements that needed to match the originals exactly. Uh, some of the posters are different from one another. Perhaps I could use your help. Can you help him find the poster that matches the one visible on the top screen? Tap the posters on the touch screen. Rotate the poster on the pole! Ooh. No, 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 no. It starts with uh, the man on the wheel. Or just small person on the wheel. With a flag. It's on all of them, right? Small horse, three balloons. What differences are there? The balloon configuration seems the same everywhere. Trumpet person. Ooh, a person with a hat, just like the professor. The wheels, the wheels must be the same arrangement. That looks like a circus tent. Oh, the clown. No, that's an S at the hints, not a five. So, here, I think this guy, this guy has a head, and the clown balloon style is different. So we need no head. Smooth tail. Set him up and knock him down. Piece of cake. Wow, you all are really smart. Thank you. Hey, you should come to our circus sometime. We have a great show with animals jumping through flaming hoops and everything. Oh my, that sounds fun. 
Uh, we don't turn our animals into stone or anything, however, it's still very exciting. Uh, it's odd, even with these strange incidents happening around town, our circus is more popular than ever. Can we go to the circus, professor? That would be a splendid way to treat ourselves once we've solved this case. Of course, that's what I meant. But what about investigating the circus? This is just this guy. This is the cop. Yes, so glad to see you folks are turned to stone. It makes less for us to clean up. We're good at the cleaning up part, and no problem. Please be careful, officer. Remember these statues where once people are like you and me. I can only go one way. The Ledor estate should be down the street, just past this quaint shop here. It's the witch in the shop. It's so nice to finally find a peaceful area in this town. Oh yeah, there's a little purple witch hat. Oh, another person with a beak for a nose. Ooh! The car has <laughs> a puzzle. Whoever designed this toy car was no amateur. It's beautifully handcrafted. Toy cars are alright, but I much prefer cuddly toys. You can't really hug a car. What about toy trains? I do like car puzzles though. Do you know uh, any professor? Hold on, Luke. I've got a puzzle I've been meaning to give you. Bumper perspective. The photograph shown above was taken while a group of friends were driving bumper cars. The person who took the photo was driving a white bumper car facing forward. Where was she sitting when she took the photo? Circling things again. White looking forward. There was a yellow car nearby. No blue. Red and green and yellow. <laughs> and this is the front, right? Well done! Your puzzle skills just needed a spark to ignite them. As the professor's apprentice, I vow to never avoid an oncoming challenge. I'm glad to have such driven peers. <laughs> Is this a car pun? Ah! 
got bears, I got trucks, dolls, robots, everything. You want it? Guys, got it. Wow! Those toys are so cute. Which would you say is your favorite, Rook? I... I guess the bear is kind of nice. If I were still into that kind of thing. Do you prefer dinosaurs now? I knew you'd like the cuddly one. I like that robot myself. Excuse me, sir? Ah, I got door houses, little tea settings. It's all very... <laughs> what? Is there something in my teeth? I g g goddess! I, I goddess fell from the sky and landed outside my ship. What kind of goddess do you mean? I mean like Athena, Aphrodite, or maybe more like Kali or Izanami. <laughs> Where? I I've been saving this puzzle for a woman with chestnut hair and an acorn face. Please take a look. Is it a tree theme puzzle? <laughs> Robot factory. <laughs> this robot comes in four parts. Head, body, arms and legs. Aren't the arms and legs each two separate parts? To put the parts together, just put each part into one of the four yellow boxes and flip the switch. Unfortunately, it's unclear which order they'll be assembled in or how they'll be arranged. Can you put the robot back together correctly? You can rotate the parts as you move them. Hmm. What? No, no, no. Assemble that the robot from the bottom, right? Why is there a keyhole? These lights seem to be two different colors. Are there numbers that I'm missing? There's a three. And, uh, that's probably not number based, although. Where can I get four vertical lines? I just start from the bottom. This really is a trial and terror puzzle, isn't it? Do this sideways. Oh, 
it. and header sideways <laughs> yeah it's lifting its arms We're assembling a robot. <laughs> oh, is it a mini game? Stunning brains that match the beauty. I would never insult a goddess by charging for my wares. Allow me to offer this robot to you as my gift. Please take him on your adventures. He is a brave one. He is humble, loyal, and a bit of a romantic as well. I will not take no for an answer. Uh, wow, I'm speechless. Thank you. It's a mini game. Guide the robot to the goal. I realize you must go. Just know that. As when the stone skips across the pond, you shall always ripple through my heart. Are we across the pond? <laughs> well, this was weird but sweet. Thanks for the robot. Of course, if you return, please grace my shop with your presence. I'm just a servant to your master for beauty. The museum is closed because this guy turned some is some paintings alive. Guide your to robot across the hazard scores. Catch the yellow arrows. Three steps at a time. You can stop it. And change its direction. And we'll stop if it hits a wall. Some stages include conveyor belts and mice, apparently. If the robot lands on a belt, it will start moving. The mice are enemies. Don't hit a mouse. Oh no! Take a look at the cage. Limited amounts of energy. 30 times. Grab the whole golden wind up key. To power up your robot. Now a robot will smash anything in its path. The red panel is your goal. Oh.
Kinda reminds me of Baba Is You. Go that way, there's a mouse. What if we do the Baba is you soup? We can't. Collisions are a thing. Wait. What if we go back down? here so see you next time